Uh, my name is Tom Lahti. I'm associate professor at Hanken School of Economics, which is a triple crown accredited university located in Finland. My research team for this article consisted of adjunct professor and senior lecturer Maria Lisa Halko from Helsinki University, Professor Nechmi Karagutsoglu from California State University, Sacramento, and Professor Joachim Vincent from Hanken School of Economics and St. Cullen University. We were interested to understand whether entrepreneurs experience strong emotions towards their own ventures that are comparable to the emotional bond a parent feels towards his or her own child. Entrepreneurs have tendency to describe entrepreneurship using parent-child metaphors. Moreover, prior research has theorized that entrepreneurial bonding is an important asset affecting outcomes in the venture development and establishment stages. It suggests that by developing strong bonds with their ventures, founding entrepreneurs become motivated to overcome environmental threats and challenges. Also, we wanted to demonstrate that the neuroscience method can benefit entrepreneurship research. We applied functional magnetic res resonance imaging or fMRI. In fMRI analysis, neural activity is detected by mapping the regions where changes in blood flow occur. The research question that we sought to answer is why and how do founding entrepreneurs bond with their ventures? Our approach was built on attachment theory, which has mainly been used to analyze the propensity of human beings to develop strong, effective bonds with others close to them. We extended this theory to consider the bond from founding entrepreneurs to their ventures. By drawing on insights from research on the effective influences of ownership, we argue that some of the essential tenets of attachment theory also apply to the context of founding entrepreneurs and ventures. From the theoretical background, we developed three hypotheses. Uh, the first hypothesis states that parents and entrepreneurs will exhibit similar signs of effective bonding. Stimuli of a parent's own child or an entrepreneur's own venture will elicit stronger activation in the reward-related re brain regions and weaker activation in the brain regions that are related to negative effect than stimuli of a known child or venture. We expected that parents and entrepreneurs have different bonding styles that influence their cognitive appraisal of objects and situations, and that the confidence that entrepreneurs have in their ability to make correct decisions when faced with uncertainty influences their bonding style and thereby the way that they experience entrepreneurship. Uh, therefore, the second hypothesis anticipates that parents and entrepreneurs' self-confidence is associated with their bonding style. The higher a subject's self-confidence, the weaker the activation in brain regions related to anxiety and fear. By building on the parent-child attachment research, we suggested that intimacy between parent and child or between an entrepreneur and a venture makes parents and entrepreneurs less prone to engage in critical assessment. Therefore, intimacy reflected by the inclusion of the venture in the entrepreneur's self should be associated with suppressed brain activ activation in regions that relate to judgment. Therefore, the third hypothesis expects that the degree to which a parent includes his or her child in the self and the degree to which an entrepreneur includes his or her venture in the self will influence the parent's or entrepreneur's ability to make critical assessment. The higher a subject score on the inclusion of others in the self scale, the weaker the activation in brain regions related to the social and moral judgment. Uh, we tested the hypothesis with fMRI experiments. Our sample consisted of 21 male entrepreneurs and 21 fathers. During the fMRI session, the entrepreneurs were shown pictures of their own venture and pictures of another known venture. The pictures of the entrepreneur's own and known venture were selected from the same subject category. For instance, logos of the entrepreneur's own and known venture. The fathers were likewise shown pictures of their own child and a known child. The fMRI data were analyzed using the general linear model. We also used T-tests and Pearson correlations to test our hypothesis. We observed that when exposed to venture stimuli, entrepreneurs exhibit similar signs of effective bonding to those that parents exhibit when exposed to child stimuli. Our results demonstrated that, that the striatum, which is the re reward region in the brain, was significantly more active when the entrepreneurs viewed pictures of their own venture than when they viewed pictures 
of another known venture, specifically the identified region in striatum is the caudate nucleus. Similar activation was also located in fathers. There was no significant difference in the strength of the activation found in the two groups. Our results demonstrated that the anterior insula was significantly more active in the entrepreneurs with pictures of known ventures than their own ventures. This brain region is associated with ne negative emotional experiences such as sadness, anxiety, disgust, depression and pain. It suggests that entrepreneurial bonding may also suppress negative emotions. Our tests revealed that there were, was no significant difference in the strength of the activation found in the two groups, that is, entrepreneurs and fathers. We found support for the first hypothesis, which expected that parents and entrepreneurs will exhibit similar signs of affective bonding. Consistent with our second hypothesis, our results suggest that parents and entrepreneurs have different bonding styles. Parents and entrepreneurs with low self-confidence show signs of an anxious ambivalent bonding style reflected by strong activations in the amygdala region, which is known to mediate anxiety and fear. The negative correlation between brain activation in amygdala and entrepreneurs and parents' confidence scores was strong and highly significant. As predicted by hypothesis 3, intimacy in terms of entrepreneurs or fathers' inclusion of the venture or child in the self was associated with suppression in brain regions associated with judgment. A significant negative correlation was detected between entrepreneurs and parents' inclusion of others in the self scores and the activation of the bilateral temporoparietal junction, a brain region associated with ju judgment. Our study indicates that we can learn a great deal from examining entrepreneurial bonding. The caudata nucleus activation and suppression of insula provide a motivational drive that is essential for forming effective bonds. In other words, stimuli related to the own venture activates the reward system in the brain and reduces negative effect, motivating the entrepreneur to carry out activities on behalf of the venture. Unlike parents, however, entrepreneurs would be well advised to terminate their one with their ventures if they risk investing more than they can afford which would have severe consequences in the case of failure. Based on our results, the risk is particularly pronounced when entrepreneurs include their venture in their sense of self. Uh, the extent to which a venture is internalized in the entrepreneur's self appears to explain the entrepreneur's tendency to overlook the venture's fault when making judgments. When the mental representations of the entrepreneur and the venture overlap, the venture may have an overly large place in the individual's identity and daily life. Accordingly, our research suggests that educators in entrepreneurship programs should highlight the risks of becoming too absorbed in one's work. Henshaw's study provides evidence of the potential negative effects of high inclusion of work in the self by demonstrating that doing so not only results in workaholism and stress, but also impairs the ability to exercise critical assessment. Based on our findings, self-confidence is an important psychological resource for managing fears and anxieties. However, anxious responses to events in the entrepreneurial process that are caused by moderate or low self-confidence may help entrepreneurs avoid rushing into poor decisions. Hence, concerns about the consequences for the self, as reflected by anxious reactions, can be beneficial if they are not extreme or unwarranted. To conclude, we recommend that entrepreneurship education should raise awareness about similarities between entrepreneurship and parenting. Our study reveals major advantages and disadvantages of entrepreneurial bonding that reflect those of parental bonding.